Yes guys, welcome to Venomous Gaming Entertainment is what I'm about and today I'm bringing you my final thoughts on a game I recently completed called Stella Blade. Okay, so first and foremost I want to talk about the costumes that you get in the game. Um, reason being because they are so revealing. This game it offers fan service to the T. It really does. There's a whole bunch of jiggle physics. Um, I'm not moaning about some of the costumes in the game. I mean, <laughs> you know, I'm a guy. I'm, it's what I'm about. <laughs> but um, yeah, there are so many different costumes in the game. I I didn't manage to get them all during my playthrough. I've heard there's a lot more than that. Um, but this is just some of the ones that I came across first. Okay, so let's touch on the story. Um, so, from what I gather, this may not be accurate, I don't know, the story is told in, in short little s segments, um, but from what I gather, you're a robot woman named Eve, um, and you need to go down to planet Earth to get rid of the, na the Natibas. The Natibas are humans that are transformed into these kind of monster creature things, but you don't find that out until late game. So in the meantime, you're going around killing all these Natibas, killing the Alpha Natibas, which are like the big mat daddies of the clan, I guess. Um, yeah, so that's the story that I've gathered so far. Oh, and as well, you're also trying to fight um, the Mother Sphere. Um, the Mother Sphere is in charge of sending of, of, of sending your main character and your and your character's comrades down to the planet Earth to destroy the Natibas. And in the end, um, the end. The ending that I got was that you um, fight Mother Sphere in the end, rather than aligning with her. You're on the side of letting the Natibas coexist with the humans that are still human, you know, because the Natibas are past humans. Uh, yeah, that's what I got from the story. It's okay. It's nothing spectacular. Yeah, you know, it's nothing to rant and rave about to say, oh my god, it's absolutely brilliant or something, because it really isn't. Um, it's just average. It's on par. Like, for the story-wise, I wouldn't give it like a 10 out of 10 or something, I'd probably give it like a 5 out of 10, to be honest. Uh, uh, you know, because the thing is as well, the story's a bit naff, but the game mechanics as well, they're also a bit iffy. Um, y y you have some points in combat where you're trying to dodge an enemy. Bas 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 basically, an enemy goes to attack you, and they light up in blue, and when they light up in blue, that signifies that you can special that you, that you press up and circle and your character E is supposed to dodge the attack and most of the time it doesn't even work you know I'm there pressing the dodge buttons but but Eve isn't doing anything I, I'm just ending up taking a beating from the enemy um, and you can see that as well during my playthrough if you go back and watch some of the videos then you see I mean I'm pressing the buttons but Eve just doesn't dodge um, there's also a bit of platforming in the game as well that um, I didn't really take to with the game controls the game mechanics the engine that it's run on it, it's not really suited for platforming and um, there are the um save points the the act like bonfires from dark souls basically so it's a place where you can rest and um sort out your skill points that you've acquired them try and master some abilities and once you rest at this camp um the enemies they do respawn again so if you're trying to get through an area, you'll have to fight the enemies multiple times if you're going to keep resting. Um, yeah. Okay, so graphically, I can't complain. Um, the graphics, they are good. I can't complain about the graphics. There is a few moments near the end game where you're in outer space, where you're looking over the planet, planet Earth, and it looks pretty spectacular, to be honest. Even the beginning intro as well, where Eve is pulled out of the capsule that she um, that she's in. The graphics there, they look pretty darn amazing I tell you yeah I can't fault the game for any graphics at all but the dialogue though sometimes the enemy the and not enemies the um your protagonist crew sometimes their dialogue just seems flat there's no real emotion that you can sense from the characters like I didn't feel attached to any of the characters at all in this game not even the main protagonist Eve I didn't feel attached to her at all and um, not even the slightest yeah, I did touch on the combat a little earlier in this review, and um, I'll just say that it's not—it's kind of Souls-like, a little bit, but 
not really, if you know what I mean. Like, like it's trying to be the the new go-to Souls like Sekiro type game to go to, but I think it fails at that point there. But Eve does pull off some nice moves, there are some nice combos that you, that, 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 that you can pull off there by pressing the square button a couple of times and then hammering that triangle button there to do like five somersaults in the air or something. It does look pretty cool to be honest. So overall then guys, I'm going to give this game a Venom yeah, score boy. of 5.5 out of 10.